Hello everyone and welcome back to the Neon Revolution. Today's episode, we have gone back, back to probably our best money maker, if that's how you want to look at it. Um, I look at it as a great way to collect a wide variety of cards. It is the dollar store tins. Now the last time that we opened these, they had a brand new set of cards in there. But uh, that was a while ago since I opened those. And uh, as I've said in a couple of my last videos, uh, life happens and life happens pretty hard. So uh, now this is all from the same stock, uh, from the same store, the same box that it came off the truck in. So they should still have the same card pack selections as last time. And maybe, it looks like it. Now let's get good old Salamance out of there. I, I, I can't even tell you how many of these I have. So many, so many. And uh, my fingers just have to break today. All right, good old Salamance, gonna toss you off to the side. And yes, so they do get everything out the way. We've got Forbidden Light, Celestial Storm, Team Up, Unbroken Bonds, eh, Sword and Shield, but whatever. Unified Minds, Evolutions, and Cosmic Eclipse. Eight different style packs. I mean, that's crazy. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven packs when it's only supposed to have ten. So interesting, right? Yeah, ten packs. Woo! All right. Uh, let's get Dragonite out. And let's see if this tin has the uh, the same issue of giving me uh, an extra pack. Alright, let's see what that extra pack would have been. Alright, so, alright, so one each Forbidden Light, maybe a Celestial Storm, that might have been it. The Evolutions I know, Cosmic Eclipse is only one, Sword and Shield is only one, Unified Minds is two, Team Up and Unbroken Bounce. So yeah, we got an extra Celestial Storm. So hopefully that, uh, that pays off in the long run. But uh, yeah, I, I had this trouble the last time. You know, obviously I know what one I'm gonna start with, Sword and Shield. Uh, and I know what one I'm gonna end with, Evolutions. But in the middle, I mean, that's just a, uh, a hodgepodge of just, you know, what do you, what do you wanna do, you know? First, second, third. I think, all right, so Sword and Shield, we've done a lot of Unified Minds. We'll get Celestial Storm out of there. The Bit in Light, Cosmic Eclipse, Team Up, Unbroken Bonds, and Evolutions. Lots, look at that, lots of packs. 21 packs instead of 20. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead, move to that close up, start opening some Pokemon cards, and start pulling some, uh, some Rainbow Rares. Alrighty, we are back with the close-up, starting off Sword and Shield. Now, I do remember when I bought this uh, set, I bought, let's see, there's two here, four, six, I bought eight tins, because that's all they had. Um, uh, the lady said, oh, I've seen you in here, you're here for the Pokemon cards, right? Yes, yes I am. Um, so she went, got them out the back, because they, they keep, or behind the register, excuse me. Because they keep them behind the register just in case, you know, the bad people in the world want to ruin everything for everyone and steal everything. So she went, got them, and uh, she's like, oh, do you, do you just want one or two? I'm like, no, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take all of them. And uh, she kind of looked at me, you know, a little funny. Because yeah. who buys $80 worth of Pokemon cards at a dollar store? All right, Crushing Hammer and Volpix. So no hits just yet. But it is Sword and Shield, so I'm okay with not hitting out of there. As long as I hit out of some of the 
the other packs. All right, we got Unified Minds here. Uh, if you guys are wondering about dollar store packs, they are real Pokemon cards um, poke, uh, packaged by the Pokemon community. There is no code card. And let me just get this weird advertisement. Uh, if you're gonna do a card trick, it's a card in the middle, whoop, right to the back. And uh, yeah, only three cards. You are not guaranteed anything. Uh, Hone Edge, Lampet, and a Reverse Hollow. But as you saw in the first two, you know, one of them had an energy card in there, so now you're only getting two cards, really. So this time we got a Reverse Hollow, so that is a good hit. Um, and if you are looking at it from a monetary standpoint, you figure a Reverse Hollow of any kind generally sells, depending on the set, generally sells for about, you know, two to three bucks, maybe a little bit more. And that covers the cost of the uh, the pack because the way these tins work, they're $10 a pop. That breaks down to a dollar a pack. I mean, in this case, just a little bit less because we got that extra one. But, I mean, so if you're looking at it from a monetary standpoint, two to three dollars for rares or reverse hollows, hollow rares maybe, depending on the hollow rare, might be worth up to five. And then any big hits like that also, depending on what it is, so if you're doing this for, you know, that's, you know, turn around and sell point, I, I think these are a, I think these are a great way to go. All right, so we are still under Unified Minds. We got Onyx, Train, Quill, and hey, we got a rare. I will take it. So two rares and a reverse hollow so far. Um, I generally, you know, judge based off of how many hits we get out of how many packs. So, so far we're doing pretty good. Two rares and a reverse uh, hollow. It's not, it's not bad. All right. So, what is this? Last unified. Mines. Right. Yeah. Last unified mines. And we are on to the celestial storm. All right. Starting off. A bunch of dragons. I like it. Hey, there we go. We got that reverse hollow hair cross. All right. Oh, let's see. Do. All right, so now these two, one of these two was the mistake. So we're gonna set those off. This is the one that came in the second tin. So this one should be you know, like normal, but I'm kind of wondering, you know, what, what are we gonna get out of those mistake packs? I'll toss it off to the side. Another dragon, all the dragons today. Ropius and a bunch of bell sprouts. All right, so one of these is a mistake. Huh, all right, well, let's, let's see. Pokemon gods may be shining a little, uh, a little on us today. All right, so let's see what we get. All right, shop it, taking a selfie, sticking his tongue out, winking. All right, Sky Pillar and Sneasel. All right, so no, no hits. No hits. Maybe out of this one. Maybe out of the. Maybe we'll pull the best card from the whole set. It's been a while since I've looked up uh, Celestial Stone, so I don't actually know off the top of my head what the best card is. Or the chase card from the, the set. But we got Windsmere. Ooh, energy. Hey, you know what? I will take it because I don't even think that I had the uh, the normal bag on. So to get the bag on, and then the reverse hollow bag on, I'll take it. So you know, a hit is a hit. Um, I was kind of hoping you know, made a mistake. Give me one extra. Why not give me you know an ultra there as the extra? But beggars cannot be choosers. So we are on to Forbidden Light. I have only opened a few normal packs and a, uh, uh, just a few in these packs of the dollar store kind. So it's very interesting to see some of this artwork that I haven't seen it before. All right, this is the last one of Forbidden Light. We got the Binnacle. And all right, so we did because I but we do get a hit another reverse hollow so yeah as long as you hit 
10, if you open two tins at a time, which I do, I, I open a Dragonite and then a Salamance tin, and you hit 10 cards, you basically pay for the tins themselves, and everything else is just extra. Cosmic Eclipse, great set, big set, 236 base cards, not including secret rares, and if you're going for the master, I mean that number is basically doubling. So there we got Mellow and Lana and Palpatoad. So no hits out of that one. But we are moving on to the second and last Cosmic Eclipse. No Ultra Rares, no Hyper Rares, Seeker Rares. None of that just yet. That is okay because the packs are only getting better as they go on. So we got Routes. Zangus and Sandy Gas, the haunted sand pile. Because he's technically not a sand castle yet. Now we are moving on to Team Up. Team Up has a lot of great cards with a lot of chase cards in this set. Uh, this one is Unbroken Bonds, a lot of chase cards, um, and most of them I don't have just because this is an older set. Uh, very popular set, so uh, not only are they hard to find, but when you do find them, they are very expensive. Magic cards, even though this is a common card, I don't have this card yet. So, I mean, that shows you how much that uh, I have not opened Team Up. Um, I did try to buy, like, when I first got into this, one of as many different Elite Trainer boxes. And uh, I mean, even back then, when I first started, it was just as the prices started going up, even back then, the Elite Trainer boxes were astronomical in price. So, Mankey, Mid Arena, hey, there we go. We got another Reverse Hollow, Morgan, old Morgan. All right, let's get this open. Morgan, get you in there. All right, now we are on to Unbroken Bonds. Uh, I believe this is the one that, yeah, the next pack work is telling me the answer already. I believe this is a set that has the Charizard and Reshiram. Now, I can't remember if they have that in the Rainbow uh, Rare version or if it's just a normal version. I know I have the Reshiram and Charizard card. I believe it's from this set. Alolan Doug Trio Reverse Hollow with its beautiful flowing hair made of steel. All right. So, I mean, that's a great hit. I will take it. Last, last Unbroken Bonds. Uh, looking for one of those team up cards. Maybe a rainbow there. We've got, like I said, so many good cards from this set. It is the middle card. All right. Come on. Zubat. De evolution spray or a devolution spray and tour a cat as the reverse hollow. I will take it all the reverse hollows today. I am completely okay with it. Now we have come to the end evolutions. We have four of them to get through. Any hits out of here is worth money. Uh, I mean, you're definitely going to pay for the pack. Uh, 99% of the time just opening these. So, starting off, Pikachu. I've said it once, I'm gonna keep saying it. A PSA 10 of this card right here. Non hollow, not rare, not secret, not anything. Just normal card. $188. That is what the price got to at its height. So, uh, it is uh, getting sleeved because why not? Because if somebody's going to pay $188, even if somebody pays $40 for that, you know, that right there would cover the cost of four tins. Now, granted, PSA did uh, did increase the price of um, getting cards graded, so things are a little bit more expensive. Instead of $10, it is $20. I know they did that a little while ago, but. Uh, I mean, if, if you're sure that you've got a PSA 10, I, I, it's Pikachu. Who doesn't love Pikachu? All right, we got Diglett, followed by that double colorless energy. 
and a seal. Womp womp. All right, Evolutions, come on. Two packs to go. Give me a hit. I have yet to pull the Charizard from Evolutions yet, um, which is sad. Granted, uh, I am only opening now at least uh, these dollar store packs. And I, I mean, I've never seen it get pulled out of here. But, all right, Hunter before that Tangula. There it is, right there. Reverse Hollow Charizard. I literally gave up on myself because, I, again, I've never seen this pulled. Look at that card right there. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely phenomenal. All right. Uh, yeah. Woo. Let's, uh... <laughs> Go ahead and sleeve that out. Let's take a look at the back real quick. The back looks great. The front I did see was just a little bit off, but it's a uh, fudging Charizard. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. I mean, who, does, who doesn't love that? Who does not love Charizard? OG Charizard right there. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. We're going to set that off to the side. Uh, yeah, look at that. All right. I am completely okay with that happening. The last pack of the day. I'm sorry we couldn't end on a Charizard like that, but you know what? I don't, I don't, well, I mean, technically. Technically. We still could. Uh, there was, uh, oh, God. What was it? Pokemaniac? I can't, I can't remember his name. I can see his face. But uh, same, same normal pack, like a normal pack of evolutions. Pull the reverse holo Charizard, followed by the holographic Charizard in the same pack. And it just, that blows my mind that some, I mean, granted, he, he opens more packs in a day than I do in a month. But, still. Um, oh, I can't remember that dude, Karcher. All right, well, we're just going to be surprised, I guess. Uh, Ponyta, Metapod. And Misty's Determination Full Art Trainer Card. What a way to end the episode. Oh my god. I am, I'm sorry for anyone who is wearing headphones in this. Uh, me shouting like that. Uh, oh wow. All right, now great. All right, so we've pulled Misty's Determination, honestly, three or four times, which I'm completely okay with. Uh, it's a good card, it's got great artwork. Misty, OG, you know, gym trainer, um, and I'm just a companion of Ash during the uh, original couple of trilogies and movies. Uh, centering on the back is pretty terrible, honestly. Uh, it's definitely more off to the left. But you know what? Honestly, ending on this, you did get a Pikachu, so I mean, I'll take that as win. But Charizard, Charizard Reverse Hollow, phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I, I can't even put into words how great this is. Excuse me, I'm just losing my mind over here. I got so excited, I got the hiccups. Um, yeah, what what a way to end the episode. So we've got two there. Let's uh, let's count up all the others. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve hits out of twenty-one. Over fifty percent. Technically, there only should have been twenty. So. 12 out of 20, I mean, that's, what a day, what a day, one last look at it, everybody, one last look at it, so beautiful, so beautiful, thank you guys so much for coming on this journey today with me, we finally did it, at, at, again, I'm going to pull it back up on screen so I can say it, this was a dollar, one dollar, dollar general, these tins, Charizard. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right there. That's that's exactly why I buy these tins. Two packs of evolutions per tin. I'm not going to stop now. Not after pulling a Charizard. It, I mean, you just can't. You just can't. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, sorry I keep going on about it, but, I mean, that was one of the Charizards I was missing for a very long time. Now I just got to get the holographic version, maybe in the next episode. But thank you guys seriously so much for tuning in. Uh, this was a blast to film. 
uh, pulling the Charizard for you guys. Uh, if you guys do like the content, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and as always, everyone, have an amazing day.